It's election season, and my liberal opponent has made up everything he can think of to attack and discredit me. This is just the latest attempt. First, he was telling people I didn't have a degree, and now this. The truth is, I have a master's degree in organizational leadership. So naturally, I got feedback from staff members for a variety of projects. Mr. Davis might be aware. They call that research. The focus of my master's degree was on how to improve effectiveness within the Clay County School District, which we've been able to do through reducing cost, improving processes, and making gains academically. I once heard someone say in politics, it's their lie and they can tell it however they want to. And sadly, my opponent has a record of failure in Duval County, so he fabricates untruths and untrue stories. It's amazing the depths that some politicians will go to to win. From Obama's IRS targeting of conservative groups to the Benghazi scandal, we know that liberals will lie to win, and it's sad they're trying to do that in this race. The allegations concerning the words and actions of the district staff and myself, which this employee made public just days before the primary election, are either blatantly false or taken wholly out of context. This employee knows we have one of the greatest ESE departments in the country. The timing of this was so very intentional. Several sources have indicated that Mr. Davis may have possibly offered a high level position to this employee, so they would say these completely untrue statements. I think a promise of possible future employment made by Mr. Davis should be investigated. It is sad he would manipulate someone like this just to win a race. It's no secret that I'm a conservative Christian school superintendent, and as a result, liberals will stop at nothing to try to get me out of office. Regardless, we will remain focused on sharing our positive vision for Clay County Schools. However, I'm asking for your vote on August 30th so we can continue to make Clay County Schools great for our children. This is Charlie Van Zandt, wishing God's blessings 